what it means to tell story with data is really there's key pieces when it comes to data storytelling. Uh, the three key pieces are data, you need data itself, visualization, uh, you need a visualization component, but then you also need a narrative. Many of our colleagues are visual learners and don't appreciate being inundated with a giant table full of numbers. It helps them more quickly grasp the most important point that you're trying to display. Uh, there are, of course, folks that will want to see the data table as well, but pretty much everyone appreciates a good visual. Well, I think with the data visualization tools, it helps direct people to um, something where it's more digestible and to smaller portions that they can more easily relate to than a big spreadsheet of data that they really don't know what to do with. So I like with data visualization tools, they can, you know, click on a button and see an answer to maybe their question in a very simplified visual way, opposed to having to look through um, a lot of data in one spreadsheet, which us researchers are very used to doing, but maybe our users are not. And it's a more accessible way um, to have access to data. That narrative is important because it helps the end user really to understand uh, the findings. It gives more clarity uh, and more insight when it comes to the end user ultimately being able to understand what, uh, what is in the data that's important. Data quality is one big aspect that jumps out. When you visualize data, if something's off or anomalous, it really stands out. So it very much helps with data quality uh, as one particular aspect. And also, if there's any particular finding of interest, it helps it uh, uh, jump out as well. The reason why it's so important right now for us is we're going through a season of data democratization. And what I mean by that is we're in a season right now when it comes to people in the IR field, we're trying to, we're trying to make data as readily accessible to our constituents within the college. And we're doing a great job of that. But the reason data storytelling is so important is as we're developing dashboards, as we're pumping out more data, more clarity is gonna be needed and also more direction is gonna be needed as well to help people once again correctly interpret findings and to get a better understanding of what the data means. And I think it's really important too right now when we're looking at equity data and equity gaps that those gaps may not jump out on a spreadsheet but they really jump out when you're comparing them to other groups and you're using visual tools. And there's also some people who can't see or are visually impaired. So it's also important to make sure you have alternative representations of your information so that all people can access it. You want to be sensitive to color blindness. Some people are red, green, color blind, for example. So you want to make sure you use colors that uh, work for everybody. In terms of fundamental practices, think about the end user and you ultimately guiding them and holding their hand along the way to helping them interpret the data. So keep that in mind when you're developing a report when you're adding narrative, when you're, when you're developing the actual dashboard or report, how is it that I can guide this person to better understand the data? So keep the end user in mind and ask that question. Another key piece is really explore what other media outlets are doing. So what are others doing when it comes to data storytelling? Uh, the reality is that it's very popular. A lot of people are using it. A lot of media outlets are, are using it and using it well. So it's good to just go out and explore and see what others are doing. And then ask yourself, how is it that I can integrate this into my work? And I think the last piece that I would add is just um, make it your own. Uh, there's obviously different ways to go about data storytelling. You could use Power BI, you could use Tableau, uh, you could even use Excel, and you could use other resources as well. Um, but I would say explore it, uh, define it, understand what it is and then make it your own and just uh, and build upon that.